Hello everybody, Andrea Maeski here with Dental L. So I had done a video showing you guys how I set up my aseptical portable unit. Now I'm going to take it down. So let's see how this works. So it usually takes me about 20 minutes or so. So for my water bottle here, they actually say in the manual to run your air for about 10 seconds to decompress it. So that's what I'm doing now. And you should always unplug the unit first. So let me go do that. I don't think it makes a, a big deal if you don't unplug it first, but just in case you step on the foot pedal and give yourself a heart attack, right? Because this actually turns it on. So, so let me just decompress the air a little bit more. There we go. I just kind of turn it a little bit. There, done. Turn it counterclockwise to take it out. Let's put the water bottle on the table there. Take out the slow speed hose. Take out the unit hose. It's kind of finicky sometimes. Actually, you know what? It's probably just because this isn't down all, all the way. And Teddy, my dog, wants to come in. <laughs> there we go. Put this on the table. It does come with a little brown bag, but it's a little bit too small for me, so I just use this one here for all of the cords. go away. This is Teddy, everybody. Move out of the way. He wants to be in the video. Clearly. No, Teddy. Excuse me. Okay. I'm just a little bit warm because I was running up the stairs earlier. But um, yeah, so see how easy that was. It takes about 20 minutes. Um, obviously, I didn't use it on a patient just now, but if I did, I always um disinfect everything first. From, from obviously the, the syringe tip to the hoses, everything. And then I have a cloth with soapy water as well. Yes, that may seem overkill, but this unit was about $6,000, so I take very good care of it. Um, I kind of shoved the cords in there a little bit to just kind of show you guys all what happens, but I do, I disinfect everything first, and then I do also take a cloth with warm soapy water. Um, and then even when I come home, I do always run the lines at the end of the day. So I do have another bottle. It's the same size that I put a Zymax um, solution in there, about a capful. I fill it up with water and then I run the lines using the air water syringe. 
And then um, also with the uh, saliva ejector as well, I put that same Zymax solution in a different like Tupperware container. I suck it up. I haven't used the high speed yet, or I would be doing that for the high speed too. But I do that at the end of every single day um, when I see patients, because that's what you're supposed to do anyway, right? And my compressor, I guess, stuff. So I do always empty this out in the sink downstairs in my laundry room, because that's the that's the sink that I use for my dental, you know, stuff. And that's where I keep my sterilizer, um, the spore testing, everything. And then I do obviously clean out the sink afterwards with a disinfectant and then warm uh, soapy water after that. It just kind of comes off very, very easy. There is some water in here because I was using that as a test to show you guys how the suction worked. But I don't know if you guys want to see the water, probably not. What's the big deal? You get the idea, right? And then I do also go inside with my disinfectant and then warm soapy water after that. So it's pretty awesome, right? Um, this is obviously huge. I never ever used all of that water, but I like to air it out too. I should say at the end of the day. So I will leave it kind of open like that. Um, in my laundry room and same with the bottle that I use for the water that I had used in there Plus also to run the line. So I do like to air them out. I leave the lids off um, Because if there's no water no bacteria can grow and that's kind of the name of the game, right? So I actually like this mobile unit a lot and it's a lot easier to clean rinse disinfect all of that than your typical I feel like I have something there. Then you're, oh, this side. Sorry guys, there's just a little hair. Um, then your typical dental office. And I, and I just kind of feel like it's cleaner too because it's such a nice smaller unit that I know that I'm cleaning it properly because it's mine, right? You don't have to worry about other hygienists coming in, assistants, whoever, who might not be cleaning it at the end of each day. They might forget. They might think somebody else is doing it. So I really like having the portable unit. I hope that helped. It takes about 20 minutes, I'd say, to tear everything down and then to set everything up. It takes me about 20 minutes as well. I'm going to do some videos showing you guys my tray setup because I just had a patient yesterday, so I kind of had to clean things up. Um, things are just kind of unorganized because usually when I come home, I'm so tired. I sterilize everything, do all of that, but then things are just kind of unorganized to put um, everything clean back. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you guys. But any questions, please let me know. I'm so happy to help and thank you always for watching.